potentially come for us to go into battle and take out whoever terrorists were to try to attack our nation. At about 9.37, I thought I heard an aircraft on a flyover across the street at Arlington National Cemetery. I looked up expecting to see jet fighters flying overhead conducting a flyover. However, what I saw was a white commercial airliner coming down over the cemetery very fast and seemed to be aimed directly at my location. I didn't have a lot of time to react. The only thing I could do was think to grab the lady I was talking to, throw her to the ground, and jump on top of her to provide cover. Moments later, about a few hundred yards from where I stood, that plane crashed directly to the Pentagon. To put things in perspective, I was standing about where the firefighters are. The plane crashed into the side of the building where our English hallway is. So not far. My immediate reaction was to ensure that everybody was safe. So I ran in the building and informed all of my co-workers that the plane had just crashed into the building and that everyone needed to get out and get to safety. So everybody ran out. We went to a designated area. We got accountability of everyone. But as we were standing there, I could watch and see people coming out and panic. People injured, things were in disarray. And I knew I couldn't just stand by and watch. I had to do something. So I asked my boss if I could help. He authorized it. So I took a few Marines and we ran down towards the building as it was still in, in flames. With people running out, we ran in. And at that moment, my life changed. I knew that I was no longer the innocent young man that I once was because what I was about to see and what I was starting to witness was going to be something that would be so terrifying that I would never be the same. I spent the entirety of that morning setting up triage areas and medical spaces to help save those individuals who could be saved while simultaneously trying to bring dignity to those who were no longer living and ensure that we can get those individuals to a safe marked location where their bodies could be laid down to rest without bringing discredit or dishonor to, the, to their families. The reason I had the fire department come is because I have a very, very close bond with our first responders, mainly our fire department. Because the crash was so unexpected, it was extremely difficult to get fire EMS on site to be able to put out the fire and help bring aid to those individuals hurt inside. So after we had initially set up a trauma area for those individuals hurt, we then transitioned to our second role, which became fire support escorts. So the firefighters did not know the Pentagon. Firefighters came from all over different locations, and the Pentagon is like a windy, twisty maze of hallways and entrances, in which they did not know. So we took that time to work side by side with firefighters and help escort them throughout the building to find ways to link up their hoses to be able to get to the fire from the inside while other firefighters got to it from the outside. And while working alongside these men and women, I saw the bravery of them going into rooms that you can see the door was red hot because the fire was so strong on the other end. And most people would go away. However, they kicked those doors in to get inside to try to help us locate and find any survivors so we can get them to safety. 
and days after 9-11 is where I realized our nation shifted. No longer were we a country in divide. Unfortunately, terrorism brought our country together. During this time, we were no longer us and them. We were all proud to be Americans. And the red, white, and blue flag were up everywhere. I bet at that time, if I would have paid to buy flags, I would be rich right now. Because every house in America had a flag out in front of his yard. Any person who had any type of differences represented all one thing, this flag of ours. And what does that mean to us here at IL Texas? How do I want to translate that to you all? At times, as you look at our nation, we find ourselves once again in a divide. We find ourselves once again in an environment where our government is somewhat split at times, where it's still us and them. However, we here have the privilege to be a part of something special without terrorism. Terrorism didn't help unite us here in IL Texas. Our mission did. And all of us here together have one thing in common, right? Others before self. That motto, others before self, should mean something special to you. As you came out here this morning and you shed a little sweat and put a little sweat on your body, I want you to remember those individuals who lost their lives on that day. And as you think about how do I put others before myself, I want you to think about those families who no longer have their loved ones. I want you to think about the children who no longer have their mom or dad. The parents who no longer have a son or daughter. And the fact that we can be blessed every single day to live to see another day. We should be united in our common bond to be better people. To take the others before self motto and change each day to make it a better day for the rest of our lives. I tell each and every one of you all, when you say that the Iowa Tech Student Pledge, at the end, I want to hear some enthusiasm when you say, I will change the world, right? The reason I say that is I truly believe that you all have what it takes to change our world. You all are going to be the catalyst to change our nation and change this world, one person at a time. So with that, I again, I thank you for pushing yourself. I thank you for stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing something that you would not have normally done. I thank you for staying in there, even when it was difficult, and pushing yourself through adversity. Like I said, it's just a little rough for fun, right? But it's also a run to remember. So with that, I appreciate you all for letting me be a part of your lives. I look forward to watching each and every one of you all grow. I thank you for what you did this morning and simplify Dallas, which is our Marine Corps motto. It means always faithful. Hurrah! 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 Alright, good to go. Alright, at this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead.